Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have an exciting new perfume release from Hugo Boss. It is their new Hugo Boss Boss The Scent Le Parfum. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, my first impressions, and how it compares to the others in the range. I will explain the range because there are a number of them in, in the range now. If you are new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this. I try and review all the new releases. I have a video on the last release in the Boss The Scent line. I'll leave that link down below and I have a detailed article which goes through all of the perfumes in Boss The Scent range on my website. I'll leave that link down below as well. And if you're a regular viewer, do check to see if you're subscribed. I know a lot of people think they're subscribed, but they're not. So do turn on that subscribe button and notifications and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. It's helpful. That really helps me. Cool. So Hugo Boss, has so many perfumes and they do tend to release perfumes for men and women at the same time. I find that their bottles and their branding is all very professional. They're of course like a professional clothing type outfit, very, um, I think they're a German brand. It's very like clean lines, professional, high-end city wear. And I find the bottles tend to be along that line as well. Not overly girly, um, quite practical as well. And so the Boss The Scent bottles all look like this. It's this rectangular type shape with this same lid, but they all kind of have slightly different colors. So the original Boss The Scent came out in 2016 and there are eight different versions of this. So this is number eight, this 2022 release. Some are light, some are strong. The original was a peach and osmanthus, really pretty, nice daytime fragrance perfume. We've then had some eau de toilettes and some heavier ones, an intense one, an absolute one. Um, a lot of them are used a lot of coffee. It's known to be like a coffee fruity fragrance kind of along the lines of black opium. But this new one, Boss the Scent Le Parfum, is a perfume. So this is stronger than an eau de parfum. It's more concentrated. And I have to say, you can really tell it is very, very good for lasting. I'm really enjoying this. So what does it smell like? So this is a strong, orange blossom fragrance, but it is a woody orange blossom. It's not like a Ellie Saab orangey sparkling or orange blossom. It is an orange blossom that's mixed with woody notes, with pink pepper and with patchouli to create something which is quite moody and deep floral. It's not oriental. It's not like an oody wood at all. I'd say it is floral, but it's super heavy floral, but still very modern. And I really like it. I literally have sprayed one spray like a couple of hours ago and I can still really smell it on my wrist. The longevity, the lasting power, very, very good. I'm really impressed with the quality. And the smell to me feels definitely appropriate for nighttime. I think daytime during the winter and autumn months as well. It's warming, it's feminine. It's definitely professional. You could wear it to an office, but you could also wear it like to date night. I think it is quite sexy in, in the right context. You guys know I love orange blossom. I think it's a perfect modern floral. It doesn't have any of those old fashioned connotations like things like freesia and rose that are in a lot of the older perfumes. Orange blossom for me feels very modern, very 21st century. I think for me, this is my favorite in all the Boss The Scent range because of the the amazing lasting power and it's an interesting scent like it's impressive I like it I find that the coffee fragrances that they have in this range you know remind me of black opium and I don't know I'm not sure how much I want to smell like coffee but I definitely want to smell like orange blossom so any sort of orange blossom fans looking for a wintry fragrance definitely recommend checking this out it doesn't have any fruity notes in but it does feel feel like it almost has a bit of peach in, but again, a very deep peach, like a plummy figgy peach, uh, autumnal peach, but it doesn't have peach in, I don't think. But I really like this, you guys. Like it's, it's not my typical berry fragrance, but it's warm, it's comforting. Yeah, really rate this. It is a little bit more expensive than the others in the range because it's more concentrated, it's a parfum. So it comes in a 30 mil and a 50 mil. This is the 50 mil, which is 82 pounds. And then 
there's a 30 mil which is 58 pounds i will try and find out the best price or somewhere with a code and leave the link down below to where you can buy it so guys that is it let me know what you think of this one have you tried it yet let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite from hugo boss i do read all your comments um but that's it guys so thank you so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video bye